Hi, I'm Tom Bedell. I'm the founder of Bedell Guitars uh, and the owner of Read Love Guitars and Weber Mandolins. And oh, shucks, we are so thrilled to be associated with the Chapman's Acoustic Shop in Springfield, Missouri. Springfield is a very special place, and I know that the Chapmans and the people that are part of the store are a big part of the music scene uh, in that whole area as as well as across the country. Um, you have done the best job of representing my guitars. We put so much love and faith into every one of these we build. Uh, they're all hand-built, they're all hand-voiced. Um, we frequency match tops and backs. We put everything into these we can, but knowing that they're going to the acoustic shop where they're not only will be really well taken care of, but they're gonna make some terrific musicians happy. We just uh, drove for three hours up to a uh, camp and then we got in the back of a pickup and we drove another hour and a half through the mud and here we are at this beautiful camp in the middle of the jungle. We're in the jungle in Guatemala in the Mayan biosphere and this is an individually selected mahogany tree. Uh, that we're planning to harvest. The noise you may be hearing in the background are the howler monkeys, which are joining in on what we're up yes. to today. Jeffrey's a consultant that's been working uh, here for a couple of years to make sure the forest is harvested in a sustainable way. In a few minutes, we're gonna fell this incredible mahogany tree. It's been part of the Mayan biosphere that makes this a very, very special forest. It's being selectively harvested in a way that supports the community that lives here and it's gonna turn into incredible Patel guitars.
so we're in um, Prince of Wales Island at our log yard, and so all the primary breakdown happens here. My, my eldest son is Brent Jr. and Ryan, two years younger only. They've been uh, very uh, crucial in the, the buildup of Alaska Specialty Woods. These guys work hard breaking these logs up into blocks that we use to resaw into soundboards. One of the first jobs that they did, these guys had a backpack and Ryan would get the little ones. He was about, yeah, maybe eight and Brent then would have been 10. Oh, I greatly appreciate it. There's a lot more to it than just going out and cutting down any old green tree that you can find, you know. I mean, those trees are beautiful enough as just standing the way they are, you know, and there's plenty of laying on the ground, you know, just go out and get it. It's a valuable resource and it's going away fast. Seeing instruments that came from our wood, it changes his perspective. We're out here just busting every day, seeing the, the instruments, the quality of the instruments, you know. Not only that, but it's a guitar. It makes beautiful, beautiful music. Change somebody's world. It's pretty cool. What old growth habitat is, is a range of growth that is from seedling to old age, died of old age, and everything in between. Well, whether it's the bugs or the moss or the flora, it's all together. It is no doubt that, you know, we're harvesting trees at a faster rate than it's growing. And when you're talking a tree that averages, and this old growth that we're using for soundboard production averages 400 years old. Timber production are working on a rotation of a 90-year cycle from harvest to harvest again. There is no soundboard production in that, in that 90 years. By salvaging, um, we get to utilize the old growth material it is needed for the products that we produce without detriment to what's what's alive and what's what's for the future. 